Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft Edge web browser is going to be getting a performance mode on Windows 10. Now, just like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge is based on the open source Chromium platform. And as many of you know, Google Chrome is the world's most popular web browser at present. But unfortunately, Chrome can be a little bit resource hungry as well. Now, Microsoft has taken various measures to improve these um, performance issues and um, addresses these poor performance concerns with the new performance mode that they have added to the Microsoft Edge Canary web browser last month in April 2021. Now, the reason I'm only making this video today on the 7th of May is because it was on a controlled rollout and not all users of Edge Canary received the performance mode on its initial release and I did wait a couple of days and now fortunately today when I updated my Edge Canary I saw that there was a performance mode in my system and settings so I could finally make this video and also try to use flags and other little options to try and enable the performance mode but to no avail so that is why I'm only making this video today. Now the experimental performance mode basically attempts to optimize both your CPU and your RAM usage to reduce your battery and or power consumption while ensuring that your browsing speed remains um, responsive. Now Microsoft um, states that performance improvements will vary depending on your device configurations and your browsing habits. So to get to the performance mode in Microsoft Edge Canary, First of all, obviously, I have Microsoft Edge Canary open on my desktop, which is used for testing and experimenting and is a pre-release unstable version of the Edge browser. So to get to performance mode, we just head to the top right to the three dotted menu and we go down to settings and on the left, we head to system and here you will see the new performance mode. So it's under the optimized performance um, section and the performance mode is set to always on by default and this I'm going to read this mode helps optimize your browser's performance by saving battery and minimizing resource usage that's memory or CPU as mentioned performance improvements might vary depending on your device specifications and individual browser habits which are also mentioned now just some details it puts background tabs to sleep after five minutes of inactivity if sleeping tabs is on so if you have got your uh, sleeping tabs on then it will by default then if this is enabled it will put your uh, sleeping tabs to sleep after five minutes so you can see here uh, sleeping tabs is set to five minutes of inactivity if you have performance mode on and you cannot change that setting so if I turn performance mode off which you obviously have the option to you can have it always on or always off you can see that my sleeping tabs have now um, put in active tabs to sleep after two hours and that's the default with your sleeping tabs in Microsoft and um, the Microsoft Edge web browser so once you hit always on it puts it to sleep um, by default after five minutes so timer will go back to its previous selection when you're not in performance mode which I've just demonstrated while we do our best to minimize impact to your experience Performance mode may cause videos to be less smooth. So just make a note of that. If you're using performance mode and you do watch a lot of videos in your browser, it might um, become a little bit unstable and less smooth according to Microsoft. And animations to slow down when you're not interacting with the browser. So your animations will slow down if obviously you're not directly interacting with your browser. So that is the new performance mode in the Microsoft Edge Canary web browser, which I'm very glad to see. And uh, as I say, I wanted to make this video last month already, but had to wait for it to roll out in my region of the world. And hopefully this will make its way down to a stable release later in the year of the Microsoft Edge web browser. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.